Hello YouTube fans, this is The Scar Clown. I'm here to talk about one of my favorite games of all time, Bull. Alright, I just want to make sure if the, you know, mic is on and everything like that. So, I want to talk about why I love Bully so fucking much. Not only you can, you know, grind and get some stuff for your room and everything like that, like this. You not only can go to classes and do missions, but I want to go to the stats. Here in the stats, you know, to be quite honest, it's like they looked at San Andreas and they were like, yeah, we could do this in this game. And in my opinion, they perfected this in this game more they did in San Andreas. San Andreas was a test, while Bully was the perfection of that test, in my opinion. I mean, look at the percentage we got here. Game completion, 34%. You know, you got our um, mission completed, um, 35. Money on, $614.50. Room trophies unlocked um, 15 slash 30s um, slash 36. So there's more um, tr um, room trophies that you can get in this game, which is dope. And look at so many stats. This is just the general stats right here. You know, this is so great. And there's some that was zero percent. Like for example, um, you know, times spilled on marbles, and I, I suppose they didn't spill on marbles at all in this game, huh? Um, hit by a car. I got hit by a car like six times. You know, s stuff like that. I didn't even know that this was a stat. Getting hit by a car. You know, and food fights started. I, look at that. Food fights, snowball fight started, and some of this stuff, like the snowball fight stuff can only happen on certain times you know kind of like you getting the halloween stuff and everything like that so you got to make sure about that which i do like about this game because it makes you um do things that you wouldn't do in other games and everything like that how many times i've egged a car twice and how many times i um smashed um plant smashed is 62 and you can actually pick up plants i did not know you could pick up plants either but you can smash the plants and there's so many stuff here let's go to fighting as you can tell um, this is why I love about um, Bully because you know how in GTA 4, I don't hate GTA 4, I love GTA 4. I really do. The story in that game is great and it's a masterpiece in my opinion. But this game, this game, I wish GTA 4 did bought the stat back, but like this, like this and this. I mean, not like San Andreas, but like this only, like what they did in Bully. Because it will work perfectly and it will give a lot of people objectives to do in, in GTA 4. They're just, you know, goofing around and stuff like that. Um, not to say goofing around in GTA 4 is not bad. It's, to be honest, the GTA 4 is the best open world goofing around game ever it's better than gta 5 in my in my opinion because when you play gta 4 especially when you play the the um download of a content like battle of gay tony and um lost in the dam you feel like you went through the whole map in that game in gta 5 i can't say that i can't say that i explore the whole map you know maybe the city but not the whole map you know so that's one flaw of GTA 5 that is there and the other thing about GTA 5 is too is the story the story is not it's it goes everywhere in GTA 5 here with GTA 4 and especially in San Andreas and Bully they have a cohesive narrative of a story you got one villain that's there that's always going to that you know that's going to be a pain in the ass you know that's what GTA 5 needed and GTA 5 did not have that Bully had it San Andreas had it and GTA 4 had it you know even it depending what ending you pick yes but still still gta 4 still had it at the end of the day with dimitri you know even if you didn't pick revenge you still had it there with dimitri you know and dimitri was like the, the biggest assholes right next to uh you know um the villain from um san andreas fucking um what's his name uh i'm just gonna call him samuel jackson because that's what he, he basically is samuel jackson voices the guy ten penny you know uh, ten penny is a great villain you know and same thing with um the villain in this game in bully um gary i think he's a great villain too to be quite honest literally you know you got um you know what's it soccer no success versus jocks a hundred percent there rat killed look at that you could kill rats i didn't even know that i didn't even know you could kill rats you see this stuff stuff that you don't even know then you got your social status you know your relationship how many people how many girls you kissed you can actually kiss guys in this game too which i never knew until like years later so yeah i did not know that <laughs> i didn't know you can actually be make your character gay i did not know that but i never did that because i never tried to i just had my 
I just had Jimmy kiss a whole bunch of girls. And you can, again, grind that up. You can make it better. And you do become better, too, when you um, do missions and stuff like that. You got the nerd. You got the bullies here and everything like that. You got the taunt of the bullies. You know, the preps and everything like that. The jocks. So, really, your social status with, with a lot of people. You know, you got the cop social status, which is, wow. I, I didn't even know that was even a thing. So, yeah, there's a lot of things here. That, that is awesome, man. Like, look at this stuff. Some of the stuff, like, I'm, I'm sure people that have played this game didn't really notice a lot of this stuff. And I've played this game countless times a bully. I've played this game, like, four or five times in my lifetime. And I still, some of the stuff I still haven't fucking noticed, you know? Alt class attended, you know, how many times I failed of alt class, 7%. You know, it, it, stuff like that is great, man. Stuff like that is great. Now, I'm not saying GTA 4 did not have this. Maybe they did. But not to the extent like this, in my opinion. Because it, it, you just looked at this stuff and you thought it was great. I think Red Dead Redemption 2 does have this stuff. Which is great. I think Rockstar should bring this back in, in games, to be quite honest. This is just great. I mean, look at this. Look at some of the stuff that I haven't even done. <laughs> You know, that's crazy. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. And you got these upgrades too. So you could, and these upgrades are really good. You know, it's not like in GTA 4 where, you know, how Nico fights, that's the way he's going to fight through the whole game. With this one, it's different. And I like that they did perfected this in this game and not in, um, they, they basically, basically San Andreas was, you know, learning how to walk while Bully learned how to fly, you know? So, I always give credit what credit is due with that. I think Bully has the best all PG system out of all the GTA games, alright? GTA 5 tried to do the all PG aspect, which sometimes you notice something, sometimes you didn't. Me, I was kind of mixed with it. Some people do notice, and if you do, you do. Me, I kind of eh, didn't notice. I noticed with some things, yes, but not all of it. Not like in this game, you know? With this one, you can really feel like a difference, you know? That's what I'm trying to say. Like a drastic difference. Not like a difference that you'd be like, oh, okay, I can feel that. That's a little light. But like, yeah, that's light, but is it drastically different? No? Okay, then. Then it's basically nothing in my opinion. You know, that's just me. So, you go to the gym. That's, um, you level grind with your, um, getting stuff of fighting and everything like that. The gym and the, gym and the hobo moves, which I haven't even, um, unlocked it more. I just need three more to do that. And you got, uh, classes. Finished chemistry. Almost done with art class. Almost done with, um, photography. D almost done with shop. Done with English. Thank fucking God. Um... <laughs> And that's it, you know, chemistry should be the, your first option to be finished because chemistry is awesome Or depending if you fuck up because it's plays like Chon if you really think about it like snake if you ever played snake um, Good version of snake to be honest. It's not a bad um, version and you got your inventory, which I like too. you got your weapons here Not all of them are your weapons like obviously the, the, the you know the camera and supposedly the stake skateboard was going to be a weapon at one point, but they just decided not to do that. Now this, this, your slingshot has, is amazing. Your slingshot can upgrade over time, and it just, it's great. It becomes such a badass. And you can instantly kill people once you upgrade it to its maximum. Oh yeah. You got some eggs. You got some fucking bath salts. No. <laughs> um, stink bomb. Firecracker, which, you know, this is what you start off with the game. You start off with that, then you get this, well, this, and then this, you know, and then eventually you find this. So, and that's it. Uh, let's see. You got some gifts that you can give to your girlfriend, you know, flour or chocolate. You can go to the store and do that. And you got some objects from missions uh, a ticket to go to the carnival, a prize of, holy shit, there's 99 of them? Shit. That's crazy. And keys. In a key for I don't know where is that from I think from my warehouse and you guys collectibles so yeah and hall in the Halloween time if you don't do these you will never do it again yeah there are some places that you can break the pumpkins at I think some in the carnival but other than that yeah if you don't do this around the hall on um, Halloween season in the game then yeah it's not gonna work basically it's you're just not going to get it which is sad because if you do get this you get like a little tombstone in your um in your in your room in your dorm and you get a pumpkin head and you get a little pumpkin figure in your dorm too so i like that really much so obviously you got a radio transistor that you got to give to that hobo and this was a side mission too of crushing the gom um gomos um golem sorry 
So there's 25 of them. We just need five more left, which is not bad. And there, there was, um, they did show, there was a mission attached to this, but they cut it out, but they put it back in the, in the Scholar Edition. So there was that. So I do recommend getting the Scholar Edition, just not for the Wii. Yeah, because uh, the whole fighting and everything like that with your chucks and all that. I don't know why they didn't thought about just using a regular freaking controller for that, because it's just not worth it. It really isn't. So... So a lot of people might not notice some of the stats RPG God, stuff in this game, you. but it, it, it's there. It is. It's there. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. I'm going to shove you right in the trash. Come on. Get up. Get up. Okay, so you Think about it. A clown just kicked your ass. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll probably, uh... Maybe I should show off one thing here. If you're new to the game, if you're not new, that's fine. Um, it, it, this is just for people that want to get into the series or get into Bully. Um, well, there's not really a series, but still. If you want to get into Bully or you just want to play the game and see what the fuss is about. Go in and pat. Dead. Instantly gone. Well, alright. It depends who you who you. Hmm. And the best thing is too, if you're just ridiculous, they really not gonna come at you, I guess. But um, <laughs> see you later. But yeah. And you can pick up stuff around here, which is great. I love this shit. Wait. There we go. <laughs> oh man, I love this. I love this game so fucking much. Big inspiration in some of my games that I'm making and stuff like that. So, oh shit! Class is about to start. What class is it? Oh, art. Alright, let's do art real quick. Before I end this video. So, you guys can um, get off the video if you want. That's mostly why I want to show off some of the stats and why I love Bully and stuff like that. Another thing that I love about this game is that you could dress Jimmy anything that you want. You can dress him so ridiculous and I love it. I really do. You could tell they, they love that in San Andreas. I wish you could do that in GTA 4, but yeah, that's fine. GTA 4's Shall clothes is, is pretty nice, and please, no you know? Talking. But hey, I'm not gonna complain that, you know, this particular Rockstar game did not do it if other Rockstar games already did it. And some of them have done it better. So, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Ooh, you see that? This is why I like to call it. This is basically like Snake. Um. Ooh, I got lucky there. Uh, no, no. Ah, oh. yeah. You see, if you get, oh, if you get hit once, that's. I think if you get hit, hit like three or four times, you gone. It's over. Yep. What's the matter, Jimmy? Is your mind elsewhere? I mean, look at the art teacher. She's fucking sexy. Of course, I'd be distracted. <laughs> Uh, and the best thing is you don't have to do missions like main missions. You could just do classes upon classes upon classes I, suggest you grow up. I agree you should grow up too into the locker. See ya Uh Oh prefect 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 go 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 jump Jimmy Ooh. Yeah in early stages of the game that could kill you <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you can grind your not gr well. It is kind of in a way grinding if you're trying to up um upgrade your your stuff, upgrade um your character. But um oh shit, just go back to the dorm. I just shoved you in the locker room. The hell you got out in the locker? I mean, but yeah, that's really it. I just wanted to let you guys know that this game is amazing. I wish there is a secret to it because if there was a secret to it, they would do so much more. They would do so much more in this game, man. They they really will. So, it's really dope. Really awesome. Highly recommend this game. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to check my other videos of me doing commentary on Bully and other games like Final Fantasy 15, well, check out the playlist. And if you want a link to it, I'll give you a link. In it. I'll give you a link. So, uh, see you guys later. Be safe and enjoy your day.